Some might argue that AppRite, it, it may be it's promising, right? But there's several competitors out there. It could also be lacking certain advanced features or integrations that you're, are found probably in like more mature backend as a service providers. What are the key features that you're still working on or what are the things that you're, you're saying like, you know what, this actually is a very strong offering from AppRite compared to a competitor uh, that people need to pay attention to. So I'll mention the, the competitor name, but there's, you know, Superbase is another one. And right now, my biggest criticism is with our database. We have a relational database, which I was a big advocate for changing it because we call it uh, documents and collections, but it's all tables. And then with auth, I do want to switch to a, a JWT model. We use sessions, but I do want to provide an alternative to really become more of a competitor to something like Clerk. From there, the funny thing is, like when you look at Superbase, uh, Superbase, as they say, is just Postgres. They're a wraparound Postgres. Uh, that's their biggest advantage. And because of that, in the PG vector database, they really thrive in the AI community. I would not compete toe to toe with them. There's an article that compared Superbase and AppRite. And what they did is they compared a self-hosted instance and they compared a cloud version all within the free tier. And they did a bunch of performance tests. AppRite more than 3X and 2X Superbase on a load test and a breakpoint test. I didn't realize how bloated their product was at its core. Uh, I have a theory behind why that is. Now, again, we're gonna, you know, this is recorded, so I don't know how much I wanna say here.